What's up guys, Manny from Motor Million and this is a full carbon M1000RR. So guys, this bike needs little to no introduction. It is Jerry Campese's full carbon M1000RR. And I'm saying full carbon. I know there is, you know, YouTube videos or, you know, Facebook posts about full carbon M1000RRs. This is an actual full carbon bike. Other ones I've seen, they don't have the tank, they don't have the subframe. It's not full carbon, this is full carbon. I want to do something to this bike because Jerry has been saying how great this bike is, especially for a BMW, it's a high praise. Me and Jared are both Ducati guys and it's hard to beat a Ducati for that special feel that it has. But I'll give the M1000RR that praise too that these bikes feel special especially if you put an exhaust and do a brand tuning flash on it they, they do have that character that we look into having with some bikes that sometimes gets missed out on the s1000 double r's unfortunately they're amazing machines don't get me wrong but they don't feel special and if you are fortunate enough like us to jump back to back on these bikes you'll know what we mean i don't mean to offend any of you guys i know there's diehard bmw fans and as you know we love the BMWs, but in terms of special feel, this is a very special feeling bike. Going to that feel, Jared's been riding this bike, and I think if I change his quick shift to the Alpha Racing one, he's gonna agree with us of how much of an upgrade it is. These bikes already have, especially the S1000RRs too, have the best quick shifter, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I'm saying that these bikes don't have that special character when you ride it, but the quick shifter is, you know, it's, uh, magnificent i don't know how you do that in german but we do the italian thing like this so guys this is the infamous alpha racing quick shifter for the bmws i already said these bikes have a really good quick shifter out of the factory and it's it's really good because when you're when you're riding it it's responsive it's amazing the only downside that i really don't like is the feel of it it's in terms of functionality it functions well like upshift downshift it's quick it's responsive but let me show you something. So when you go to shift, take a look right here. When I hold this, this you see the springing movement? You could really feel it. Or maybe I'm just too sensitive, but you could really feel it when you ride these bikes. And that kind of takes away from that little sharp feel that you want. So this Alpha Racing Quick Shifter has completely different internals. And even if I try to push this with my hand, I'm really not getting any springing feel. There's a little bit of, you know, there's a small spring in there, I guess, or a hard spring that's in there. But the main objective of this quick shifter is to tell the bike that you're trying to shift so that it either blips it or it cuts the spark so that it shifts the, it helps you with the shift of the bike. So we're gonna go ahead and change this. And one other thing, if you put them side by side, this looks much better. It's a smaller, more compact unit but also it's black so it doesn't stick out like this big silver piece that's here. Another thing that I want to mention to you guys is that Alpha Racing Quick Shifters usually come with this long rod for our purposes, for us guys who ride these things on the street and also ride them with rear sets such as these M1000RR rear sets or the aftermarket stuff that we sell. You need a shorter rod. When you buy this from us, we supply you with the shorter rod. So when you receive it, you'll know what this rod is for because you're not gonna be able to even install it on there. This is mainly for race applications where you have some very specific racing rear sets and Alpha Racing is very, very race oriented. As you know, they, they are the main suppliers and official uh, World Superbike team for BMW. And that's why this is a long rod, but you get a short rod. And if you're building a race bike, we'll be more than happy to supply this for you too. So right away, what I'm gonna do is I wanna remove this long rod from here and put our shorter rod. Before even I take anything apart on the bike, what I wanna do is I wanna to try to match the length of the quick shifter so that if you have to adjust anything, it's just gonna be fine adjustments. We have some adjustment on the top too. And Jared has his beautiful pro tie bolts on his bike. Now we're gonna take the actual bolts out.
I should probably have my little bin for the bolts, but this is like a quick impromptu quick shifter change. The plug is right here. This is how it comes off and you're gonna see why I took this electronics cover off because this has plenty of length. I'm gonna tuck the wires in to make it look all nice behind there. So this is a little locking mechanism here. You wanna make sure that once you plug it in that you hear that click and if you don't, make sure you push this down just like that, so it locks it. And guys, I said full carbon. It's uh, easy to kinda forget stuff when it blends and also we're around these things so often, but this kickstand, look, even the kickstand is carbon. Not just the fuel tank or the subframe, which are the big ticket items, but small details as such as the kickstand are carbon. them up and I'll go tie it on them once. So we could verify that it's shifting properly. There we go. So and this is why we took the electronics cover off. Let me get a quick sit down. lock nuts because it is the adjustment that we want there we go. So all these lock nuts in, in place so now let me just quickly jump on the bike I just want to quickly see if I could roll through the gears yep there you go so perfect so guys that's how easy it is to install this Alpha Racing quick shifter on the bike and I think it really looks, other than it feels good, you know, it looks amazing on the bike too. So guys, that was the final mod on Jerry Campisi's full carbon fiber and 1000 rr By the time you're watching this video, Jerry's already selected the winner and I want to congratulate Dom. And Don seems like an amazing guy and is going to really appreciate that quick shift there. And if you're watching Don, put it in the comments below how much you like that quick shifter. And if you guys want to know what's coming up next with us, we're going to be working on our SP2. The SP2 is getting some carbon fiber, a lot of carbon fiber actually in other parts. You don't want to miss that out. And Jerry Campisi is starting his Lamborghini Panigale V4 series. You really don't want to miss that out. But until then, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time guys, have a great one.